Now, a Contact 5 investigation found there are 125 beachfront condominium high rises of at least 10 stories in our viewing area. Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast. Right, so most of them line the beaches of Palm Beach County, where today commissioners will look at ways of ensuring the high rises are safe less than three weeks after the condominium collapse in Surfside. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman gives you an in-depth look. The median age of a beachfront high rise, 10 stories or more in Palm Beach County, is 40 years. That's the age of the Surfside condo that collapsed June 24th. With 86 Oceanside high rises in the county, Palm Beach County Mayor Dave Kerner says commissioners want to know more about their safety. To learn at a little deeper level what is on the horizon here, what are we dealing with? Uh, Surfside took us all by surprise. Most of the 39 oceanfront high rises in St. Lucie County were built in the 1980s and 90s. Commission Chair Chris Zadowski says the county's looking at how well they were built and maintained and what threatens them. So there's a lot of research going on right now and we're gathering information about sea level rise, saltwater intrusion for the beaches. Contact 5 crunched the numbers and found in our area there are 125 beachfront condos, all of them in Palm Beach and St. Lucie counties. 81% of them were built before 1993, the year Florida enacted tougher building codes in the wake of Hurricane Andrew. We will see more due diligence the older the building. So there'll be a correlation between how much due diligence a, a buyer wants to do uh, with the age of the building. Real estate expert Ken H. Johnson is with the FAU College of Business. Johnson expects the fallout from the Surfside collapse could lead to a short-term stall in beachfront condo sales at older buildings, while state and local governments decide what to do. More legislation, at least locally, and requiring more maintenance and updating and just inspections. A pace of inspections likely to step up for beachfront high-rises exposed to rising seas, beach erosion, and corrosive salt spray. In Fort Pierce, Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.